show you some brick fork action now. This is a fairly new thing. There used to be, um, if you can imagine, a pallet truck on the ground was pushed under a pallet, pump up, moved around, but on a crane. Without pumping up, you just put the forks in. That's a stupid description. If you can imagine a forklift, put the forks in something, lifting it up, moving it around, but the forks attached to the end of the crane hook. Uh, it used to be just the forks, uh, but it wasn't very really safe. There's been a few incidences. They, they, used, to, uh, they used to put it in, lift, lift the load up to wherever it needed to be, but put a net over it first to keep everything in place. But, you know, nets are not that great. Sometimes that they wouldn't put a net on, other times the nets would fail. So they, they created this contraption. It's a bit of a pain in the arse, but it's much safer. I'll show you how it works now. Okay, ready when you are, mate. Nice one. Come up and touch for me. Put the fuck up. Probably that. Yeah, so they have. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the arse, these things. Because, uh, there we go. Because they had a bit of pressure on them. So they've got little slots underneath these cages. It's a little bit like. Um, Touch it's a little bit like a pallet. Down if you slide the uh, forks into a pallet like I'm going to be doing now, it's a similar thing to um, what's underneath the cage. <coughs> Open this window a little bit, a bit hot. Uh, so it's just, it's a bit of a pain because it's precision and obviously the forks wobble about side to side, which is lift the forks and up and that. Um, so so basically, yeah, you, you take the forks out, you pick the whatever it is you want to pick up, up, and then take it back to the cage. You put it in the cage. Down you come. Drop it down. Take all the pressure off, so I don't actually uh, take it. It's taking too much pressure off there. You see, like the little lever of the arm has gone right down. Then he's got to pull it out, drop it back down into the slot underneath, which picks the whole cage up, rather than just the uh, the whatever he's lifting. Oh, see, got a little bit of swing on the hook there. Where they pull it around, pull it out of there to pull it back into the cage. It, it swings the block about. So that's it, you, you, close, you lock the um, door up. Ready when you're ready, sir. Back up enough for me. And then pick the whole thing up, take it down, do the reverse at the other end. Going to level two with this. Level two. <coughs> You'll see that in the air now. A little bit closer. I've got to go right close to the crane. Minimum radius. Uh, so the reason they do this now, it is a bit of a ball ache, but... Might need to go back 20 yards before you send the next pallet. We need the driver's coming back for... Uh, I'm going to pick up some more uh, gear. Hmm? What's it going on about? Hello, Jim, by the way. Yep. Well, your favourite accessory and your favourite ring. Yeah, hello, Jack. You alright, mate? Alright, cool. Yeah. Um, the, uh, just, uh, we'll bring this down there. Uh, let me know uh, one of the best angles to all detail for you, especially in this delightful, windy condition. Everything's delightful. Yeah. yeah, so the reason they do this is because there was a there was a fatality in Poplar, probably three years ago now, maybe four. They were lifting some bricks up 
I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I think the, I think it caught some scaffolding on the way up or down, so the bricks fell off the, the forks into the street, killed some poor lady. There was another incident on site where they were lifting some slabs. Now the site officers were like most site officers, like the mountable buildings. Uh, so came was slewing over. The, the slabs slid off of the forks through the offices, uh, through the roof of the offices. Luckily, nobody was injured. You know, so that can't go on, can it? Just a quick one. If you like all this stuff, head over to my website, constructioncogs.com. The link is in the description below. You'll love it over there. It's full of crane porn. It'll blow your mind. Before you do that, though, hit that like button and hit subscribe. It really helped me out. I appreciate it very much. Cheers. See you soon.